good morning to my dear students today we are going to discuss money market or importance of money markets and uh, money market uh, organization and uh, instruments which are dealed deals in money market let us see one by one first one that is importance of uh, money market in our indian economic system we know that uh, a well developed money market plays a key or a crucial role for the development of a financial system of our country money market is an uh, indispensable and necessary for the economic development of our country like india a well developed money market helps the development of uh, our financial system or even the development of the country in many ways let us see one by one in brief first one development of uh, capital market capital market we know that is uh, capital market deals with the medium and uh, long term uh, lending and borrowing of funds or uh, long term finance the short term interest rates and the conditions prevailed in the money market that influence the interest on the long term lending and uh, uh, mobilization of resources in the capital market so in such a way uh, money market uh, helps for uh, the development of well developed capital markets the next one that is uh, financing a trade money market uh, also plays a key role in financing both internal and uh, external or uh, international trade commercial finance is made available to the traders through bill of exchange which are discounted by the bill market or money market then another one that is financing to the industry we know uh, financing or money market contributes or it extend to the growth of industries in different ways let us uh, first one that is uh, money market helps the industries to uh getting short term loans to meet their working capital requirements through finance uh, bills or commercial papers or uh, etc and another important extension that is uh, industries generally need long term uh, loans that we know almost all industries are uh, uh, need long term uh, loans which are provided in capital market even though this capital market depends upon the nature and the condition in the money market so we can say that the money market influence the development of capital market and it help, uh, hence it is uh, useful for uh, the industry so in such a way a money market helps for uh, financing to the industry the next one that helps for uh, commercial banks well organized or well developed well sound money market helps in commercial banks to become self reliant or self sufficient banks can temporarily invest their surplus fund in uh, easily realizable or con convertible securities it can uh, utilize or realize the funds quickly in times of uh, need by recalling it bank and also utilize the money market uh, mechanism to meet their statutory requirements requirements of uh, crr or cash reserve ratio and uh, slr or uh, uh, statutory liquidity ratio the next uh, important that is uh, uh, helps in uh, uh, central bank we know the existence of the developed money market uh, smoothen or strengthen the functions of the central banks the short run interest rate of the money market reflect the current monetary and banking conditions of our country effective implementation of the policy by influencing sub market through the money markets 
uh, money market uh, can contribute the central bank for uh, performing uh, very well the next uh, that helps uh, to the uh, government we know the conditions are uh, situations prevailed in the money market is a true or uh, fair picture or indicator of the monetary situations of our country so money market uh, enabled the uh, central government or state government to formulate suitable monetary policy uh, for our uh, country then the next last one that is uh, encourage savings and uh, investment we know money market mobilize savings it is a good mechanism for uh, mobilizing uh, savings so it encourages savings and investment helps to transfer fund from one person to another person which has a surplus fund to the another sector where funds are in short so in such a way that helps for uh, or encouraging uh, boosting uh, the habit of savings and uh, investment next one that is uh, money market organization we know that the money market is uh, not a homogeneous uh, market it's a heterogeneous market which consists of uh, many many sub markets the present structure of uh, money market or the present organization of the money market uh, in terms of the main instruments are first uh, call money market then uh, loan market uh, commercial uh, bill market uh, acceptance market uh, treasury bill market uh, commercial paper uh, certificate of uh, deposit uh, etc let us see one by one first one that is uh, call money market we know call money market uh, is a market uh, for a very short span of uh, time of fund it is sometimes referred uh, as a loans or money at call or short notice these are very short term loans which are granted uh, for sometimes uh, for an overnight or for 24 hours or for a maximum of uh, 7 days uh, this is called uh, call money market then another one that is uh, a loan market we know a loan market or uh, interbank term deposit market that means uh, it's a loan between banks it is uh, also known as call money market the difference between this call money market and uh, loan market is uh, the period of uh, this type of loans is over 14 days and generally up to 90 uh, days without any collateral security the lenders cannot recall this loan back before maturity. So this is the main advantages of a loan market. And another one that is a commercial bill market. It is also known as a discount market. Commercial bill market means is a market bill uh, it helpful for meeting the short term financial requirements of the individual firms and uh, uh, government under this a commercial bank can invest their surplus fund in these bill profitably they can also dispose these bills easily or can be rediscounted each with the central bank to obtain fund this is a mechanism of uh, commercial uh, bill market this uh, commercial bill market can be divided into uh, discount market and uh, acceptance market discount market means a market where financial intermediaries like uh, uh, banks discount short term genuine trade bills 
these are uh, certain financial institutions uh, which are specialized in the field of uh, discounting it is specializes in discounting short term commercial banks these bids are generally drawn for a period of uh, uh, very short period uh, maybe 3 months then another one that is acceptance market it means the market where the financial intermediaries accept genuine trade bill as in the case of discount market there are uh, no uh, in london there is a special houses to accept bill named acceptance houses but in india there is no such uh, houses but the commercial banks are accepting or uh, commercial banks are doing the these actions or commercial banks are accepting the bill uh, to certain extent the next important uh, uh, organization that is uh, uh, treasury uh, bill we know treasury bill market is the market deals with uh, treasury it's a short term borrowings of the central government or uh, state government and are issued by the uh, reserve bank of india treasury bills are issued by the central government to meet its short term requirements it's a kind of uh, finance bill or promissory note issued by the uh, government this uh, treasury bill or t bill are issued at a discount and are uh, redeemed at uh, uh, par there are different types of uh, uh, treasury bill we have uh, first one that is uh, ad hoc treasury bill or uh, regular uh, treasury bill the next important uh, uh, money market organization that is uh, interbank uh, term deposit uh, that is also we are uh, loan market we are discussed so these are all the important uh, organizations or uh, composition of our uh, uh, money market now we can see uh, money market instruments or financial instruments which are used in money market number of money market instruments are listed here let us see one by one first one uh, that is uh, treasury bill we are already discussed what is mean by treasury bill market treasury bills are highly secured and liquid because of a uh, guarantee of uh, repayment of assured by the uh, rbi who is always willing to purchase or uh, rediscount or discount uh, this treasury bills are government sector instrument and not require any grading or further endorsement or uh, acceptances we are already discussed with two types of uh, treasury bill we have uh, ordinary or regular treasury bill and uh, ad hoc uh, treasury bill difference is that ad hoc uh, treasury bills uh, are issued in favor of rbi with a view to uh, replenish the government cash balances by employing temporary surplus of the state government and uh, semi government departments whereas in the case of uh, regular or ordinary treasury bill which are you, you issued uh, to the public uh, and the rbi by the process of act, uh, auction or uh, uh, bidding the main objective is to meet the additional short term financial needs of the e government the next important instrument that is uh, call money or uh, uh, money at call or uh, uh, short notice call money refers to a money given for a very very short span of period it may be taken for a day or uh, for night uh, or, a, or, 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 or 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 night but does not exceeding uh, seven days in any circumstances surplus funds of the commercial banks and other institutions are usually given as uh, this kind of uh, instrument as uh, uh, call money or money at call or uh, short notice 
banks are the borrowers as well as the lenders for the call markets call funds or call money banks borrow call funds for a short period to meet the cash reserve ratio or uh, statutory liquidity ratio and also repay back once the requirement have been uh, met then uh, next one that is uh, uh, commercial uh, bill we are already discussed the commercial bill market commercial bill or bill of exchange it is also known as bill of exchange it is popularly known as bill is written a written instrument containing an unconditional order listen it it is it is a it is a written instrument containing an unconditional order the bill is signed by the drawer uh, the bill is signed by the drawer uh, directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument at a fixed time in future or on demand it is very very important uh, mechanism behind the uh, bill bill it is a signed it is a written instrument containing an unconditional order and it is signed by the drawer directing a certain person to pay sum of money only to or order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument at a fixed time in future on demand it is called a commercial a bill next important instrument which is used in our money market uh, um, industry is a certificate of a deposit commonly we are using cds it's a negotiable money market instrument and is, and is issued in a dematerialized form or as a use and promissory note against a fund deposited at a bank or other eligible financial institutions for a specified time period these cds are a marketable receipts in bearer or a registered form of fund deposited in a bank or other eligible financial institution for a specified period at a specified rate of interest then another important uh, instrument that is uh, uh, commercial uh, paper or uh, uh, cps again uh, cps are short term use and promissory note issued by the reputed companies with a good credit standing and having a sufficient uh, uh, what we say that uh, tangible asset cps are uh, prom uh, use and promissory note we are already used the cps are unsecured and are negotiable by endorsement and delivery this uh, commercial paper uh, are normally issued in a bearer form on discount to face value basis these uh, kind of uh, instruments issuing companies normally can buy back if the needed arises it's a mechanism behind these uh, uh, cps or uh, commercial uh, purpose it is uh, normally issued by the banks public utilities insurance and financial companies uh, the buyers of this uh, instrument uh, include banking and non banking financial uh, institutions it is uh, launched by rbi notification in january 1990 uh, i think then another important uh, instrument that is uh, used in our money market is uh, interbank participation uh, certificate uh, commonly we are saying the term that is uh, ibpcs interbank participation certificates are the interbank money market instrument used by the commercial bank to park their surplus funds there are two types of uh, ibpcs first one with risk sharing without uh, risk sharing with risk sharing means which uh, which kind of uh, this kind of uh, uh, certificates are issued for a 91 to 180 days and interest is determined on these uh, uh, between the issuing and uh, participating bank free 
then without risk means uh, this kind of money market instruments uh, not exceeding 90 days uh, one more thing that is interest on this uh, instrument is determined by two contracting banks and the last important uh, uh, instrument uh, that is uh, repo repo means uh, repurchase uh, uh, agreement or repurchase operation the developed money market in the world have experienced tremendous changes in the use of uh, uh, repos. It is very important instruments of the money market that enables a smooth adjustment of uh, short term liquidity among varied uh, categories of money, uh, money market participants. Repo is a money market instrument uh, which enable Collateralized short term borrowings and lending through sale and purchase operation in debt instruments. Mechanism we can see that uh, a holder of securities sell them to an investor with an agreement to repurchase at a predetermined rate and a predetermined rate of interest. The forward price set in advance at the level which is differ or which is different from spot price by adjusting the difference between repo interest and uh, coupon interest earned on securities. It's a mechanism behind this uh, uh, repo. So these are all the important instruments which are used in our uh, uh, Indian money market. Let us conclude our today's discussion here. Thank you to all.